here we are. Um, seems like we were just meeting yesterday, but apparently two weeks has snuck by. So, um, Veer, how about an update on the viewer pipeline? Sure. So, uh, we are very hopeful that our next promotion will be EEP. Um, it's it's looking really good right now. We've got, you know, low low single digit remaining issues. Um, we'll be meeting to chat about that right after this meeting, so we'll have a little more timely data um, shortly. But uh, if that all pans out, then uh, you know, best case scenario would be um, you know getting the final RC put together um, you know, early next week and then, you know, promoting once we've got enough testing hours against it. Um, so, uh, you know, of oh, course, dear. best case scenario doesn't pan out that often, but, uh, you know, at least um, it's it's looking close enough that we are have that be our next position. Um, other stuff that is getting pretty close, uh, we have the Love Me Render, Dirt Viewer 497, which has been ready for a while. We're just holding off oh, on. Um, I forgot. Just holding off on promoting that until EEP goes out. Um, we have the Camera Presets Viewer, which is almost ready to go. That's also an RC. Um, beyond that, uh, we have. Uh, we have some other kind of feature work going on with the, the uh, legacy profiles viewer, the copy paste viewer, mesh uploader. Um, I think those are all getting within shouting distance of ready. Um, another thing we've had going for a while is the uh, tools update. That's the, um, uh, you know, moving to VS 2017 and uh, more recent version of Xcode. Um, and that, uh, also, based on the way it's going now, should be not too far in line behind uh, EAP. So there's there's going to have to be some discussion about uh, you know who gets who gets stuck in the front of the queue there. But um, we seem to have quite a few viewers that uh, hope will be coming out in the next uh, month or two as as, uh, as they get done and and uh, as we try not to cram them too close together in the calendar. Uh, thank you. So, um, questions about any of those threads, issues? Okay, cool. Um, I got a request for, uh, stats from Jess. Uh, this morning, so I will do a batch of those and send them out up to all the folks I usually have them for. So um, watch for that in the next uh, couple of hours. I'll, I'll get those done before the end of the day. Um, so that's that's coming. And um, other releases, uh, we don't have a lot of big surprises coming on the on the server front, uh, except that we do believe we have fixes for both the UDP path for picking up offline messages and their contents and for the HTTP path. So we're gonna fix it so that the one that um, the one that Firestorm has been using gets fixed again. We 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 broke that one, uh, and uh, that was why we rolled back the RCs this past week. Uh, well, one pair of the RCs. Uh, so that that should be in RC. Those fixes should be in RC next week. Um, so and then hopefully main channel fairly quickly after that. So. Coming up soon. I know that one took us a long time to get to. I apologize for that, but uh, we did finally get the right person freed up and 
once uh, once they had a look at it, it it moved right along. Uh, yes, there are no viewer changes needed for either of those. So, um, once you have confirmed that you believe that the HTTP path for that works for you again, uh, we would very much appreciate it if you switch to that, uh, because we'd really like to deprecate the UDP path. Uh, so. Um, since there are going to be lots of reasons over the next uh, couple of months for people to upgrade their viewers to pick up other changes that will be subtly incompatible, um, it would be good if you could get that code into a release relatively soon. Uh... Yeah, can't verify emails from Aditi, but um, uh, so no, I don't think so. I don't think we can. We've got email from Aditi, um, but we'll try to get that to somewhere that you can test. Uh, and I'll put a note on the open source dev list. When, when that's available. So that's the that's the biggest news in the on the from your perspective at least in the simulator front. <laughs> yeah. Right. So uh, I think that's that's the end of the big news we've got. So the floor is open. I mean, I just released a Mac viewer. It's Macy. It works. I do not need help getting it notarized. <laughs> we haven't. We haven't wrestled with that one yet ourselves. So that's hopefully not in the too distant future. My next Mac viewer will be sandboxed. It's great. Uh, but we're, we need to we need to finish the tools update project before we can do that. We have to be built with the new tools. Uh, we we will probably tap your experience, Tonya, uh, any of you that, if we can't figure it out. Um, yeah, okay, thank you. So hopefully you're all nearly caught up with EAP and, and completely caught up with the premium changes, right? Um, I'm really sorry to hear that, Whirly. I feel your pain. At least a beta viewer, and it doesn't have the benefits changes yet because I, I, I was determined to throw something out on April 1st, come hell or high water. <laughs> <laughs> it, 
it had to happen, and it did. I, I made it by ten minutes before midnight, but it did. Well. Um, I, I, I don't think you'll, I don't think it'll be as bad as all that, Iran. Uh, well, we're, we're hoping the, VS 2017 viewer will be ready for being a release candidate next week. It's very, very close. Um, it is uh, very, very unlikely that we will promote it to the default before EEP, uh, because as soon as we have a build of EEP we're willing to promote, we're just going to do it. Um, that one... That one has the best crash rate of any viewer we're testing. So uh, it's uh, really quite dramatically better than even the default viewer. Somehow, while they were changing all the rendering, they managed to fix a lot of crashes, I guess. I contribute to EAP finally. There we go. Instead of just begging Whirly to file Jiras for me, it, it, it was it was easier to just fix it myself. I've also run out of bugs though. That's the problem. There's no more bugs for me to beg you with. Except this one weird one where if I turn my camera a certain way, it causes the water to go all flickery. That 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 that's a bug. I think the uh, I think the last remaining issues on Eep are all have to do with water rendering. So. Nothing else? Quiet day. I don't have any complaints about Eve. It's amazing. I, I, I ran out of things to complain about. Okay, we have to ship it right now. Uh, yeah. <laughs> um, uh, what could go wrong with a Friday deploy? Let's do it. I, I'm not against this. You should do it before I have time to, like, take Whirly somewhere and show her more bugs. Uh, 
Uh, yeah, Naren, I I actually have that flag to read, but I I haven't had a chance. I've been really swamped this week. Well, Naren, we know how much you enjoy redoing our UIs, so we wouldn't want to deprive you of the scope of creativity that putting out one of ours would create for you. Yeah, I saw your blog post. It was good. Yeah, so um, EAP is a release candidate. So if you want to release support for it, that's fine. Um, that's the rule. Uh, you have to watch for changes we make at the, before we promote it, obviously, but uh, and make sure you don't lose those. But uh, oh, uh, well, I'll I'll have to read that up read up on that and yeah that's uh i'm not going to try and deal with that interactively right now I'm, I'm not clear enough on what it is if we don't have any other topics i could use a half hour back All right. Uh, thank you all for coming. See you in two weeks. Where are we? We're going to go to the furry sim again, and, uh, and I'll find you more eat bugs in the furry sim. Oh, yay. It's always the best sim. I know, he's desperate to show me this bug. <laughs> ah! Ranting!